Greetings and welcome to my channel. My name is Apagnatius. This is Desynced. I have noticed one big issue. And that's up here in the metal. We have enough metal ore. As you can see, everybody is full. Uh, the mobile miners are also full. So we've got the ore. We don't have the smelting capability. That must be increased significantly. Because also, looking at these, uh, well, some are smelting. But not very many. Uh, making making uh, what's in the production of the reinforced plates? I've just seen. What about here, yeah, there is by far not enough metal uh, to even make the normal metal plates. So that must change. Uh, in order to do that, I will make a new um, blueprint, if I remember where that was. I haven't a new uh, 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 prefab that is. Tower plus energy, and this is a tower. Mm, defensive defensive thing. Nope. Uh, I had figured this out. Chosen the library. One second. Just stick with me. Come on. Can't be that hard. I mean, I made them. I was able to generate blueprints before. I haven't played in a while. Oh, maybe this will help. Blue. Okay, no. Prefabs. Jesus, I know I was looking for this probably for an obnoxiously long time. Oh, 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 oh. I think I just found it. Metal power production, that's just with one. Nope. Um, yes, hello. Um, let's create new. That will be a, a two, a one by one with two small slots. If I can find it here. Now there will be a smelter and another one here. Uh, one second, that's I think the wrong thing of smelter here. Raw resources and simple components. Uh, 
Uh, just one second. Okay, those are fabricators. Okay. Uh, now I need to find it again. Here. Uh, you will have here uh, two of those. And I'll even give him some internal storage. To raise his um, utility to the max. Can I? It doesn't make sense because I want it to be able to be. I want to be able to um, um, change what this thing makes. Okay, so far so good. And this is not unnamed anymore. Building. Um, what are those small fabricators? like this small fabrication okay and now let's click out I should be able to make those build Ognotius prefabs here we are small fabrication let's pause I'm going to make the metal right right at the source which means both here and there. Are there any miners here? Ah, uh, doesn't look that way. And now I placed other miners in other places. There are some here, okay. So... I have two of those here. Three here. Um, say three here. And I'm thinking that's about it. Or do I have some here to big decisions? Where would I place them? Okay, let's have these things built. I probably don't have, um, I probably have nothing that's needed for that. Other fabricators, uh, the metal plates and circuit boards are being made. Um, I do need internal storage. Let's see, they should be able to make that. Um, Internal storage here. Yeah. Let's make that eleven. And he is going to make eleven fabricators. Two uh four six. 16. That's more than 11. I mean, I'm not good at math, but even that's possible. And um, let's go to let's go to 20, just to be on the safe side. And the issue here is, of course, that um, all the materials necessary to build these things have to be made, and I am in a significant shortage on these. So, do I need any reinforced plates? I don't I hope I don't. I don't here, so that's cool. These do not require that, good, and these do. So 
Fantastic. Well, they will be finished, produced at some point in the future. At the same time, I have before starting the game because uh, to play because um, I really haven't played this for some time. I noticed this. There is light crystal right here. It is available. It is not inside of blight. I did want to mine these, but I was told that this isn't possible at this time. So I'm thinking I should be able to mine those. And whatever's behind there, there is some more blight crystal. And lots and lots of pick upable chunks actually. Here too. Okay. That creates the question what would I be able to use Black Crystal for? Hmm. More important is uh, is this. These can be made. Oh, this one looks good. Nearly finished. Ah, yes, things are progressing. Can I? High priority construction sites. As of this moment, they are high priority, all of them, to hopefully gain three more metal smelters. There aren't enough of those, but as you can see, they don't have enough metal anyway. So first we need, really, uh, buildings to make metal bars. Let's tell this one what to do. You will make metal bars. And so will you. Okay. That is a definite issue. I don't know where he brought the metal bars now. What about this? These are constructors, normal constructors, okay. Okay. Ah, next one is finished. Let him make some metal.
Yeah, that's so definitely something I need to change in a future playthrough. I need to give them enough room. Which means two, two squares at least. I'm actually currently thinking of potentially uh, restarting. In part because this map wasn't all that good and in part because this is quite a mess here. Of course I had no idea what I was doing. Fifteen minutes. Let me tell you one thing. I shall save. Good. So it is saved, just in case. If I Let's test this. What happens when I press restart? Yes, we know that already. Welcome back, Commander. Your ship has been damaged and I've taken you out of stasis. I am Elaine. Emergent Logistics Artificial Intelligence Network. What you're seeing is a feed from an unidentified planet, where I've deployed a team for you to command. This planet seems to be the source of the damage, and we are unable to leave the planet's orbit until our ship is repaired, and the source of the damage is identified. This looks like a different map. This is definitely a different map. I think. Should be. Yeah, this is definitely a different map. Or maybe the same map, but a slightly different position. And I like this. There is a metal ore. Um, in huge amounts. What there is of course missing here is this in good amounts. Uh, poor thing probably ran out of power, yeah. Continue having a look around. What I want is a map with uh, silica at least in a position somewhat close to the main base. I mean, all of this metal and crystal, it looks like this is a um, An abundant, um, these are in abundance uh, anyway, by the looks of it, but I can't see any proper silica. Even though they're quite, quite important, oopsie. Are my blueprints still around? Okay, no, they are not. Good to know. They are game specific, it seems. Unless I did something wrong, I should have saved them in a different way. Which is, of course, entirely possible. Yeah, now this does look not bad. <coughs> I do not like the very strong absence of any proper silica source. I can live without a huge 
uh, things flatter, right? Because I don't know how to mine that anyway. And by the time I get to, I get there, I will have big and fast enough ro uh, 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 drones, so that that shouldn't be an issue. Commander, your ship has been damaged, and I've taken you out of stasis. I am Elaine, Emergent Logistics Artificial Intelligence Network. What you're seeing is a feed from an unidentified planet, where I've deployed a team for you to command. This planet seems to be the source of the damage, and we are unable to leave the planet's orbit until our ship is repaired, and the source of the damage is identified. Crystals galore, which isn't bad, but again, no proper silica by the looks of it. Not a huge amount, but for the start I think I can work with this. I can work with this. this yeah I can definitely work with this yes I yes I 
I can definitely work with this. So, question becomes, where, I do, where do I make the base? That's good timing. Okay, um... Okay. Now, we've got tons of metal here that's going to last us for a long, long time. Lots of laterite, some explorable stuff. We'll need to establish a small mining facility in order to proceed with ship repairs. We'll do. This will be your primary objective. Communications are currently limited, so one of the first things you will need to do is to establish an uplink from ground level. Try to find metal and crystal deposits, as we will need them for repairs. I'm thinking of placing the main base about here. A little ways away from metal, close to crystal and, fair and quite close to silica. Uh, what about back there? Would that be... Maybe I could use this area right here. To have everything more convenient, even more convenient. If there is metal up here. Which there isn't. Oh well. Unless there's some metal here. Nope. Nope. But this is just an inconvenience. A small one. Or rather it's not um, a scenario which is entirely perfect. It is however perfect enough. Let's not take too many risks here. Okay, the base is going to be... Might actually be here too. Or rather, just sprawling out here. Let's move everybody up here. Lots of lacerite. Uh, lots of crystal. Lots of metal, and everything is down here everywhere as well, as well as, of course, good amounts of silica sand. No good. This will become used up fairly quickly, but uh, it is good to start with. Okay, um, oh, yes, good, let's save. A new YouTube uh, zero one. Okay. this and deploy base. Keeping in mind I want to have some uh, space in between everybody. Meaning at least two squares of space in between every build in between the buildings. There can be blocks uh, but they need to be spaced out wide enough for the uh, for the drones to uh, to fit through. Otherwise, I'll have the same issues as before. Okay, why does this turn green here? Does this have meaning? Let's 
put this here. No, let's put this, I would say, about here. He looks happy with the resources, metal and crystal here. Perfect. Uh, let me first arm this thing and put some crafting on it. Okay. Then let's move them around. I want the weapon to be up here. Okay, and at that point it's 30 minutes and I'm going to end this episode. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, you know the drill if you so choose and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.